Hi everybody, it's Brad with Big Family Homestead, and in this video I have three, count them, three things for you. I've got some bits of information, I've got a pretty sweet doodad, and I have a mystery that I'm hoping you'll be able to help me solve. So let's get to it right now. All right, a couple bits of information first off. Well, things are going very, very well with the launch, or the pre-launch rather, of the Homestead Nation channel. I'm gonna put a link up here uh, that if you have not gone to subscribe, we'd greatly appreciate it. We put some graphics up, tell us what you think, but here's the other bit of information considering the Homestead Nation channel. Tomorrow, We've created some intros that will go with our videos, you know, the cool little splashy things that come up on the screen and have nice graphics and all that kind of stuff. And uh, we want you to vote on them because uh, there's been some disagreement, a little bit of disagreement on what it should look like, what it should sound like, what the, the general feel and tone of the channel. And, and well, you guys are the ones that are watching the content, so we would love to hear your opinion. So tomorrow night, we're gonna go ahead and put up a couple different, there, there, there'll be a video of a couple different intros, and, and we'd love to hear what you have to say about it. So that's first and foremost. Also, the Homestead Nation channel, store if you have not considered that basically it's just helping us pay for bandwidth and stuff like that if you need something from amazon and don't go there and and you know it's not there to for you to go and shop and you know browse but it's like if you're going to get something online anyway it does help us out a little bit financially so if you if you're going to buy something online and it's not on our store or even just shoot us an email or a text saying hey i'd like to buy this I'll put it up there and I'll, I'll send you a link because it does greatly, greatly help us out and helps us keep, you know, going. So thanks in advance. Anyway, okay, next up, the doodad. Here is, this is cool, okay. I just love it when uh, people show ingenuity, when, when they use a little bit of creativity and you don't need a ton of money to do cool stuff, kind of that whole idea thing. Well, the deal is we have a wood-burning stove here at our homestead, and so we're always on the lookout for cheap wood uh, or free wood, better yet, uh, and, and um, we got a score of a bunch of scrap wood. While this is not really good to burn as your main burn for your fire, it's great to get it started. Little pieces of scrap wood. However, scrap wood doesn't sit very well in your regular stacked pile. It, it just kind of, it makes everything funky and so you, you have to have a separate, diff, you know, a different place to put your scrap wood. And we've just never found one that's convenient and I am not gonna go and spend 50 bucks on a stupid rack for scrap firewood. So, I put the task to my wife and my son, David, and they figured out this little thing. Check this out. Now, how cool is that? It's basically two concrete blocks and a couple two by fours. I think there's four two by fours in there, and it makes a great like, holder that, that uh, holds your easy, um, not so rather, not so easy to uh, stack scrap firewood. So. There you have it, doodad accomplished. I think they did a great job using your noodle. Creative, didn't cost, well, pretty much anything. I mean, we had the stuff laying around. So creative way to fix it, love it. Now, on to the final countdown. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Anyway, um, basically the mystery. Oh, it's a mysterious mystery. Oh, this is, this is pretty weird, okay? Now, um, I have a 2002 Ford Escape that has over 300,000 miles on it. Nice. Here's the deal. What has happened recently, now you gotta hear the whole thing, because I need to find out your opinion, um, and I think I have one formulated, but mm, I'm not really sure what to look. Okay, here's what's gone on. Basically, we've had the car for about four months now, five months now, no problems at all. Runs like a champ, no issue. Except in the past two weeks, and today would be the third time that this happened. It will be driving and it'll just shut off while you're accelerating. Now, that's not the weird part, okay? I pop it, I'm freaking out the first time. Oh my gosh, what do I do? So you pop it in uh, neutral and restart it and it goes right, right off, no big deal. But this is the weird thing. On my drive to work, which is about 14 miles, it happens 
all three times, in the same exact 25 to 50 foot area. Weird. I'm not kidding. It's like, it's, it's literally right down the street from where I work and it happens in the same spot every time. It's happened three times now. It happened again today. Uh, and my boys were with me the other two times and they, they were like, well, the first time it was just like, well, that's weird. The second time it was like, that's weird. It happened exactly right here and it did it again today. So now to give you as much information as I can, um, it is, it seems to be a random spot. It's a slight downgrade. It's not like a super steep hill. And I was accelerating, you know, it was, a, it was about a 35 mile an hour. I was going about 35 miles an hour. And um, the only thing that I can think is odd maybe is across the street and maybe 50 feet down, there is a hospital uh, right about 50 feet from where this happened. There is an intersection where, you know, the ambulances can turn on and off the lights as they need it, but that's still a good bit down the road. But then back from uh, where this happened, about 200 yards is a massive cell phone tower. Now, this car, the 2002 Ford Escape, it was one of the first of, you know, not very first, but it's, it's still in that first run of let's figure out how, how we're going to do all this computer controlled stuff. Uh, so that it, it is a computer brain car. So that kind of just makes me flip out a little bit, but I want to hear your theories. Is it planet Nibiru coming to get me starting through my vehicle? Well, that wouldn't be very nice at all. So anyway, there it is. Some bits of info, a doodad and a mystery. You'd let me know what you think. I have no clue at all what it could be. I mean, same spot, weird. Anyway, please pass it around, share, like the video. I'm Brad with Big Family Homestead and you have an amazing day.